Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Horizon View training and this is number 8 video in this training and in this video we are going to see create and add event database for VMware Horizon View step by step. So event database is basically a database where the all uh, logs is going to be stored for Horizon View. So like uh, login, login, logout, all the all the logs are going to be stored in um, database and the uh, Horizon View supports two type of database for storing the event log is MySQL uh, uh, SQL Server which is Microsoft uh, SQL Server or uh, Oracle Server uh, Oracle Database Server. So in this video, I am going to uh, uh, configure. Um, Microsoft SQL Server as a database uh, for the Horizon View events. So let's see what is the our data uh, lab setup. So you can see from here we have a event database which is not configured yet. So we are going to configure this. So what we have in this setup. So in this lab setup, I'm using three virtual machines simply to show you. The first virtual machine is a Win2 K12 DC01, which is my Active Directory and DNS server. So if I go here, you can see Active Directory and DNS role is running on this machine and click on local server. You can see Win2 K12 DC01. So this is my Active Directory server. And the second server we have is our Horizon Connection Server, Horizon Views Connection Server. And this is Win2K12 CS01 which we have installed in our second video. So you can see Win2K12 CS01. So this is connection view server. If I go here, you can see on desktop Horizon 7 administration console. So I'm going to launch it. I'm going to run the add of flash player. And then I'm going to put my credential here to log into the admin console. So we are in. So we are going to configure this event database now. And the last server which we have is our SQL server, which is brand new SQL uh, server which I have just renamed this and joined this machine in domain and configure the IP address. So the, this machine having uh, we are going to install the SQL Server and Management Studio then uh, going to configure the event uh, um, logs. So here's the step by step create and add event database for Harrison View. So the first thing we need to uh, install uh, SQL Server Express and SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm going to do this on my SQL Server the same way which we have followed in our last video. So I'm going to install show you from scratch so we have SQL Server 20 or 2012 service pack 4 so I'm going to install SQL Server Express first you can see Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Express service pack 4 so I'm going to install this then we will install the management studio and post that we, we are going to configure this in our connection view administration console so Let's wait for this. This is going to take a few seconds. So I'm going to run this. And this is going to launch one more wizard. So this is SQL Server Installation Center. So I'm going to install a new SQL Server standalone installation. We are going to install database engine. So this is going to be a brand new so we can minimize this I accept the license term SQL Server 2012 setup so click next and no updates available so this is good and now it's going to copy the installation files to the hard drive and then it's going to launch the main SQL Server installation wizard so it's going to take few seconds so now database engine is selected so this is good we can click next I'm going to make the default instance MS SQL Server click next so 
this is also going to be service account leave the default and click next and here you can add your uh, if you want to uh, add any service account or any other account to give uh, SQL Server login and access so we are going to get administration and view admin and click next and then this is ready to install and click on next and you can see now installation is started so this is going to take some time you know, two to three minutes to get the installation done so I'm going to pause the recording here and once this installation is finished I'm going to resume from there and then we can we will install management studio and follow the next steps so pausing the recording for now so the installation is succeeded and everything looks good we can go ahead and close this and also we can uh, close this installation center now it's time to run the installation for management studio so I'm going to run the management studio setup and same time we can go here and we can send the desktop icon to for the Microsoft SQL Server Configuration Manager to our screen and I'm going to make sure the few ports are enabled so here if I go and see everything is looking good so in the SQL Server network configuration you need to make sure the protocol for SQL Server MS SQL is running on TCP IP and named pipe so I'm going to enable both and this is required a restart so I'm going to restart the MS SQL Server service from configuration manager console only so you can see the process ID is going to be changed so now the service is restarted so we are good with this and we are also can launch the setup now so I'm going to add a new feature which is going to be a management studio so this is going to take some time also so no update click next it's going to copy some files now I'm going to add featured in existing so MS SQL which is pre-installed instance and we have Express Edition so click next and I'm going to install a management tools so select management tool and click next finally click on next and the installation is started so I'm going to pause the recording again and once this installation is finished we are going to proceed for next step which is enable SQL server authentication for SQL server if not enabled so I'm going to pause the recording for now and will resume once this installation is finished so now management studio is uh, also installed so click on close and also we can close this installation center and this configuration manager also now I'm going to send the shortcut to my desktop for this management studio and we can launch this now we can proceed for the next step which is enable SQL Server authentication for SQL Server so to do this we need to right click on the server name and go to properties and from properties we need to go to security and then we need to enable uh, SQL Server and Windows authentication mode both so click apply so this is required a restart for SQL Server so that's fine I'm going to restart yes I want to restart so after this we need to do the next step which is create a new database for Horizon View event so I'm going to do this now so under the database to create new database and call it like view event uh, you need to make sure this is set to simple and leave everything default and click OK 
so now you can see the database has been created this is good and now we need to go and create the new SQL authentication account so I'm going to create one login so I'm also going to call login name this must be a SQL server authentication because horizon view events support only a SQL authentication so this is going to be a view event and I'm going to set the password and you, to, you need to make sure the enforced password policy is not selected and default database I'm going to set view event and this is good and from the user mapping we need to make sure this is selected database and DB owner is uh, identified for assigned for this user view event so this is good and we are good to go and click OK now I'm going to restart one more time the SQL server services to just make sure the service is up and running and now we are good to configure the event database in a horizon view so I'm going to do this now so let's click here and other you can go to view configuration and event configuration and you need to you can see no database has been defined so we are going to define so click on edit and type the server name so I'm going to copy the full server name and going to paste it here and this is a SQL server and either you can use a Oracle also so a view event is the username and database both so I'm going to type view event and going to pass uh, type my password and I'm going to table syntax event underscore and click OK so now you can see this is configured now if you go to dashboard and refresh this from here you can see the database is uh, even database is configured and this is showing green so this is good and now if I go to monitoring and events you can see the it's audited it's started for it's starting the monitoring and we have all the logs so this is looking good so this is all about how we can create an uh, event database and how we can add that uh, uh, event database to horizon view to log the events so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye